Hey there, folks. James here from 9 to 5 Software. And today we're going to be diving into something that I know a lot of you creators out there are super passionate about. That's right. We're talking about the best audio editing software for music. Now, whether, whether you're an aspiring musician, a budding producer, or maybe you're just looking to polish up some audio tracks for your own videos, you've come to the right place. All right. So, um, before we jump in, I just want to remind you, uh, if at any point during this video, you're like, Hey James, that software sounds perfect for me. You can find all the links to the products we're discussing right down there in the description. Yeah. Just click on those and you can get all the juicy details and even try them out for yourself. Now, we all know that the right audio editing software can make or break your, mm, well, not just music tracks, but really any project that you're working on that involves sound, right? So I've spent some time mm, messing around with a bunch of these programs, testing out their features, and basically seeing what gives you the best bang for your buck. Okay, so sit back, grab your headphones, and let's get started. Here are my top picks for the best audio editing software that's going to help you make your music sound absolutely flawless. All right, let's hit play on this. All right, so um, let's talk about Adobe Audition, which is definitely up there when it comes to the best audio editing software for music. Now, the first thing you'll notice when open Audition is the interface. I, I, it might be a bit daunting for beginners, uh, but you know what? Once you get the hang of it, it's incredibly powerful. You have your multi-track, waveform, and spectral displays, and it's really these tools that give you a ton of control over your audio. Um, when you're working with music, one of the key things is getting that pristine sound quality, right? And Audition is amazing for that. It has a really clean mix environment and great effects chains that are super customizable. Plus, you've got this, this feature called the Essential Sound Panel, which is like really useful for quick edits if you're not super experienced with mixing and mastering, but still want your tracks to sound professional. Now, the integration with other Adobe software, like Premiere Pro is a total game changer, especially if you're already in the Adobe ecosystem. You can just, you know, send your project to Audition with a couple of clicks, do your magic with the audio, and then send it back to Premiere without any hassle. Time saver, for sure. And speaking of time saving, the batch processing feature is just, uh, it's a lifesaver when you're dealing with multiple files. But um, let's be real for a second. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Um, Adobe Audition is on a subscription model. So yeah, it can get a bit pricey over time compared to a one-off payment software. But if you're serious about your audio quality for music videos, it's, uh, it's definitely worth considering overall, I'd say, if you can get past the initial learning curve. Uh, Adobe Audition is a powerhouse that can take your audio to the next level. All right, let's dive right into Logic Pro X, which is um, pretty much a powerhouse for audio editing, especially if you're deep into music production. So Logic has always been this go-to for professionals, right? But what's really cool is that even if you're just starting out, it's not like super intimidating. Now, one of the first things you'll notice when you open up Logic Pro X is the interface. It, it's um, super sleek. And while it might seem a bit daunting with all its buttons and knobs after fidgeting around a bit, it kind of starts to make sense. They've got this awesome feature called Quick Help. So if you hover over anything, it'll tell you what it does, which is like super helpful for figuring things out on the fly. Another huge plus is the variety of built-in plugins and sounds. Guys, there are like thousands of instrument patches and audio loops, which um, basically gives you endless possibilities, whether you're looking to lay down some electronic beats or orchestral scores, it's all there. And the quality, oh man, it's top notch. Plus with the smart controls, you can easily tweak the sounds to get them, you know, just right for your... Um, now let's talk about editing. So Logic Pro X has this feature called Flex Time. And it's a game changer for making sure everything is perfectly in time. You can literally just drag and adjust the timing of your recording without, you know, affecting the pitch, which is so cool. Plus, the mixer is super intuitive with all the controls you need to get your audio levels and effects just perfect. In summary, this software is like the Swiss Army knife for audio editing. You dive in, start experimenting, and um, before you know it, you're creating these complex, polished tracks that sound like you've been at this for ages. It's pretty awesome. All right, mm -hmm. let's talk about Ableton Live, which is like really a beast in the world of audio editing software, especially if you're into making music. So first off, the interface, it might seem a bit daunting at first with its, you know, multitude of options and buttons, but once you get the hang of it, it's super intuitive. The session view is something that stands out. It's like a musical sketch pad where you can um, play around with ideas without the pressure of a timeline. 
that's pretty rad for brainstorming song ideas or even for live performances. Next up, we got to talk about the war feature because, man, it's like magic. You can manipulate the timing and tempo of any audio sample without making it sound like a chipmunk or, you know, some deep sea creature unless that's what you're going for, which is they totally cool. Ableton handles this so smoothly and it keeps everything sounding crisp, which is a godsend for music producers. And there's this whole bunch of built in instruments and effects that are just top notch. And then there's this thing called Max for Live. Mm -hmm. It's basically a platform within Ableton that lets you create your own instruments and effects or even change how Live itself works. It's like a playground for anyone who loves to tinker and really get their hands dirty with customization. It might be a bit much for beginners, but for the pros out there, it's like, you know, a gold mine for creativity. So I just wrapping up Ableton like might be on the pricier side, but dude, you get what you pay for, right? You know, it's a solid choice for musicians, producers and live performers. There's a bit of a learning curve. Sure. But once you're past that, the possibilities are pretty much endless. It's like, if you're serious about your music, Ableton live, my, uh, like just be your best pal. All right. That's my take on Ableton live. Catch you guys next time. And, um, keep making those sweet tunes. All right. So um, let's talk about Pro Tools, guys. It's kind of a big deal in the audio editing world, especially if you're into music production. I mean, it's, it's pretty much been the, the industry standard for ages and uh, for good reason, you know? The recording quality is top notch. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, it's crisp, clear, and just professional all the way. So uh, interface might seem a bit daunting at first, especially if you're new to this kind of software, but once you get the hang of it, it's super powerful. There's this thing called non-destructive editing, which is a huge lifesaver. It means you can mess around with your tracks as much as you like without, you know, actually messing them up. You can go back and forth, try different effects, and if you don't like it, you just undo. It's that easy. Now, uh, let's talk features, because like, Pro Tools is, like, stacked with them. There's, a, there's this thing called Elastic Time, which is insanely useful for messing with the tempo without affecting the pitch. And um, let's not forget about Elastic Pitch, which does the opposite, right? And I've got to mention the vast array of plugins and, you know, virtual instruments, even though some come at an extra cost, they can really expand what you can do with your track. But okay, fair warning, Pro Tools isn't cheap. And if you're a beginner or you're on a budget, it might not be the first choice. They do offer a free version called Pro Tools first, which is uh, limited, but can give you a taste of what the full version can do. Honestly, if you're planning to go pro or you're already in the game, Pro Tools is just invaluable. It's an investment in your sound. And if you're serious about your music, well, it's pretty much a no brainer. All right, guys. So today we're talking about FL Studio, which uh, if you're into music production, you've probably heard about it or you're using it already. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you open up FL, a studio is this really user friendly interface, um, which has come a long way, honestly, since its first release. You've got this channel rack where you kind of, you know, sequence your patterns and then there's the playlist where you arrange your masterpiece and uh let's not forget the mixer right for all your mixing needs one of the features that i think is super cool about fl studio especially if you're into electronic music or beat making is the step sequencer it's super intuitive you just you know click in your notes to create patterns um rhythms and you can also switch to a piano roll for more complex melodies chord progressions stuff like that um, and the thing is, it comes with a ton of plugins and sounds. I mean, there's a bundle for everyone, whether you're just starting out or looking to go pro. Now, let's talk about the mixer and effects, because um, this is where the magic happens, right? You get to color your sound, mold it. FL Studios mixer gives you um, that, lots of tracks, and each track can hold up to like 10 effects. There's a bunch of effects already included, and you can also use third-party VS plugins, which is pretty handy. And hey, the mixer is pretty flexible, allowing for, you know, intricate routing and side chaining, which is like essential for that pumping sound in EDM, you know, but hey, no software is perfect, right? So uh, one downside for some might be the workflow. It's a bit different from others like Logic or Ableton. And um, that could be a bit tricky for newcomers. But to be fair, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty smooth sailing. Overall, though, FL Studio is a powerhouse for audio editing. It's got a lifetime of free updates, which is insane. And personally, I'd say it's definitely up there for one of the best choices for music production, hands down. Hi, everyone. 
that about wraps it up for this rundown of the best audio editing software for music production. I hope you found it helpful and maybe even discovered the perfect tool for your next big project. Mm, just remember, if you're interested in any of the products we talked about today, I've got all the links down there in the description for you. So definitely check those out. And hey, if you dug this video, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. Plus, you'll stay up to date on all the latest software reviews and tutorials I put out. And don't be shy. If, if you've got a question or want to share your own experiences with audio editing software, just drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys, and I try to get back to as many as I can. Oh, and, and, and before you go, take a second to check out some of my other videos. I've covered a bunch of different topics, so you're bound to find something that piques your interest. Thanks for watching. I'm James from 9to5Software, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating, folks, and take care.